Hello Cancer, welcome to your extended reading for April 2020. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for your purchase. So we're going to go ahead and just shuffle the deck, split it and pull from the top. I'm going to get two cards for each placement to open up the storyline and then I will go ahead and get some reversals. So can you please tell us spirit um, what is um, coming in here. Can you clarify this entire reading for cancer? Can you clarify this entire reading for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What's coming in for them? Okay, let's split the deck. For you, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Your person, Judgment. The Lovers, wow. The situation between you, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. What's coming in for you, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Blessing in Disguise, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the outcome is the Nine of Pentacles, and the two of coins. Bottom of the deck is your own card, chariot. Moving forward in one way or the other, whether with this person or without this person. Knight of Pentacles, some of you could be making an offer, either toward this person or in a new direction. Seven of Swords, some of you might be secretly trying to get out of this connection. Two of Wands, make, trying to make a decision about that. Four of Swords, uh, needing some time to heal or figure things out. Maybe things are naturally coming to an end and you know it. Taking off in a new direction. Yeah, moving on with the world card. Whether this is you or whether this is them. Now, could the, all those cards on the bottom of the deck, for those of you that are happily married and stuff, it could mean that you know, you're just closing out an, an old chapter with each other and you're going to move on to a new, a new beginning together. All right, this is you, Cancer, Ace of Swords, clarifying that is the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with an, an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, doesn't have to be. You could be taking on the Earth of Pentacles um, energy. You know, the Earth of, Pen the Earth of Pentacles, the um, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, um, she's married. She's one of the wives in the tarot. Uh, she supports the king. She's queen of hearth and home, uh, mother figure, nurturing, and she, she's the caretaker. You know, she takes care of the home and the children, and she makes things nice. She cooks, she cleans, she decorates. She does all of those things, but she's also a source of strength for her king, and she knows how to be independent and stand on her own two feet. And some of you could be taking on that energy, whether you are, whether you have earth in your chart or not, whether you're a wife or not. Even if you're a man watching this, maybe you... Um, are, you know, uh, a bit more on the domesticated side than other men. Maybe you know how to cook and clean and other men just know how to stand around and scratch themselves and grunt, you know what I mean? So maybe you are kind of the nurturing uh, homemaker, caretaker in this connection, man or woman. Um, four of Cups, missing an opportunity though. There is some sadness here going on with you deep down or maybe that you're keeping quiet from your current person missing an opportunity of some kind and or wanting to make an offer or have a new offer come in and you know what i forgot to do is pull the reversals let me do those real quick can you clarify this uh spread for cancer sorry if you hear trucks in the background their delivery trucks on my street that sounded like the ups man so if you hear engines rumbling, it's usually UPS, FedEx, Amazon Prime, <laughs> or on Wednesdays, it's the, uh, it's the garbage man with their huge truck that comes through. So it just depends. Can you clarify the spread for cancer, please? All right, let's split the deck. Here we go. Ten of Cups reversed. Yes. Seven of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. Uh, five of Wands reversed. Star reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands reversed. Like either no longer putting in the effort, attention towards this connection, or maybe efforts not being made mutually, or 
you know, things just kind of, um, kind of sputtered out. You know what I mean? Like, um, there was a lot, everything was great for a while and then it just kind of died off or slowed down or maybe somebody isn't wanting to put energy into this, not wanting to invest in this anymore, uh, wanting to retract their cup. Maybe they're just not putting in as much effort. Maybe somebody fell out of love with somebody. Um, they're just not feeling that love and feeling anymore, but there's no communication about it. Quietly waiting for the wheels of fate to turn, but there's unfinished business here. You know, I don't know. There could be that. Take it or leave it. If it doesn't resonate for you, just let it go. Okay, but here you are. We have the Ten of Cups reversed here. And so the Ten of Cups reversed is to me just confirming that Four of Cups where there is sadness over a missed opportunity of happily ever after with someone, whether it's with this person that you're dealing with or someone else, um, you know, or maybe some of you feel like you're never going to get your happily ever after. So you kind of have to settle on whatever you can get. Uh, so there's some of that potential energy in here, you know, but maybe just still quietly maybe keeping your eye on someone else maybe some of you are literally keeping your eye on an earth sign a capricorn taurus or virgo that maybe you've secretly been interested in from a from afar because you know of course he's at a distance he has to use that little telescope thingy to like check it out right maybe there's a distance um between somebody you know you and this person maybe you know i don't know <laughs> something going on here where there is not a happily ever after and there is a sadness or missed opportunity over it okay you your person is a four of pentacles clarifying that is the judgment card and the lovers wow and then the seven of swords reverse so um it's like what's going on here is your person guarded and shut down because they want resurrection and a second chance with a lover from their past is your person guarded and shut down because they got burned by a lover or a spouse from their past um that you know that they feel there was uh never any justice served um judgment day didn't come is your person shut down toward you because they feel that something needs to be healed for you two to become lovers again like what's going on here because the judgment card is not only apologies uh, and seeking forgiveness, but it's asking for a second chance and wanting a resurrection, a reconciliation. Maybe your person is guarded toward the resurrection of love for themselves because they got burned in the past. Maybe they're guarded towards you and they can't fully let themselves become intimate with you because they have not been able to rise from their own grief yet. You know, so it's just, it's just weird how so many different scenarios could come here. We have the Seven of Swords reversed. Now, maybe your person was cheated on in the past or they really, you know, were betrayed by someone and they've gotten clarity of that and they're still recovering from it. Um, the other thing that could be going on here is that your person um, is having clarity you know, because this is clarity. This is also somebody who shows up and follows through. They're not lie, cheat, steal, or, you know, sneaking away in the middle of the night. Um, you know, maybe they're getting some clarity about the fact that they're too shut down. Um, I don't know. We might have to clarify some more. We'll see. This is the current energy or the situation between you is the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Wow. And the Eight of Pentacles clarifying that the King of Swords reverse. Eight, uh, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands is defensiveness. Guard up. Um, somebody who is defensive and, you know, they don't want to talk and they don't want to budge and they don't want to work it out and go away and I'm shutting everyone out. This can be little to no communication or difficult communication with somebody. This could also be you two against the world. Maybe somebody is defending this relationship or this connection to other people. Maybe you guys are coming together as a unified front. Um, maybe there is something going on here where there is a chance to work it out with the Eight of Coins. So whatever that means for you, either there was little to no communication in the past or shutting down or ghosting or blocking. The shadow side of the King of Swords reverse can be somebody who is manipulative, vindictive, narcissistic, mean, cruel, all that kind of stuff. Um, or there's little to no communication and now here we are. You know, maybe there was no communication in the past and it left this Queen of Swords just, you know, betrayed and scorned and angry and defensive. 
you know, and, and now they have to work on themselves or maybe you were brought into their life to work on this relationship or help them work on themselves. I mean, I just don't know. Um, or this is the energy between the two of you, you know, where there was a problem before, but now there's the opportunity to work it out. What's coming in for you is the Queen of Cups. Clarifying that is the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So this is very interesting because this is a, not only a new opportunity in love, but this is victory and triumph and happily ever after and real commitment, real marriage, real settling down and having a future with somebody. So whether... Cancer, you are the one that is in your Queen of Cups energy, whether you're male or female, and you are going to propose to take this connection to the next level in hopes that it will heal whatever happened in the past or make whatever the stagnation currently is better and more exciting. Or there's a new opportunity coming in here for either you or your person with a new love elsewhere uh, that has the potential to really be um, happy and you know, all that, life partner, all that, right? Settling down happily ever after. Five of Wands reversed. Either you guys are going to work this out, no more arguing, no more bickering, no more difficulty. You're going to work it out and work towards your dream come true relationship and commitment. Or uh, you are dropping each other, dropping each other, you're done, and you're going to go find love elsewhere. And, you know, a future with somebody else elsewhere or them, you know, as well. All right, the blessing in disguise is the five of pentacles. Clarifying that is the three of pentacles and the two of cups. And then clarifying that is the star. So for a lot of you, there was a leaving out in the cold. You left them out. They left you out. You guys left each other out. Maybe there was some kind of breakup or separation. Through the pain of that and the fact that there was no healing, there was open wounds and unresolved issues or just, um, um, unfinished business between the two of you it has inspired you two to come back together and work it out and as you work it out you fall in love with each other all over again so that could definitely be going on for those of you that are trying to resurrect a relationship or either either one that's broken broken apart you're in separation or you haven't talked in a while or resurrect a relationship that you're currently in that's struggling Okay, and trying to bring that healing and trying to step up your game to, to do your part or them do their part in order to carry your weight to make it work so that you guys can have this two of cups energy. The other storyline with this is perhaps that you're getting out of this relationship altogether because you just don't see it with this person anymore. And you're getting out of this and you're moving on and you're going to meet somebody else. You could be using your talent, skills, and abilities to bring you abundance and prosperity uh, and level up your life in some way. You could be meeting somebody new through work or volunteering or um, some other kind of hobby or interest or side hustle. So that could go on here for some of you or vice versa. The person that you're dealing with gets out of this connection with you and they meet someone else, uh, a new soulmate somewhere else through work or through some other effort okay okay the outcome look at this you have so it was the three of wands clarifying that is the nine of pentacles and the two of coins clarifying that is the queen of uh pentacles reverse now remember cancer you came out cl clarified as the queen of pentacles now it's in reverse so i just have to say this some of you cancers are going to become single you're done you're not, you're not feeling it anymore. It's not working for you. You want out of this, whether you're male or female, um, and you're, you've been waiting for something better to come along or waiting for the right time to move on. Nine of Pentacles, you're moving on and becoming single, and you're going to do your own thing for a while. The Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is also Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. And that two of pentacles is just trying to find your own footing again, being stable, secure, grounded as, as an independent person, juggling your own money, your own career, your own responsibilities, and just learning how to like be alone again. Um, and then also this is a card of trying to make decisions or maybe meeting new people um, or, you know, juggling all your responsibilities or even new hobbies and interests or whatever. 
So some of you are definitely going to become single. Others of you, your person is the one that's getting out of this relationship. They don't want it anymore with you. They're moving on to become single and, and do their own thing. All right. So it just depends here which cancer you are and um, and what's what's going on. Um, I wanted to clarify your person a little bit more because this was a little bit confusing. Can you please clarify cancer's person that they're dealing with? There are the four of pentacles, judgment, lovers, and the seven of swords reverse. What does this mean? Four of pentacles, judgment, lovers, seven of swords reversed. Page of wands. What else? Page of wands delivers news brings invitations um, and is out there um, you know being active eight of swords self-imposed prison maybe your person cancer isn't happy with you four of pentacles maybe they have received a new love offer from somebody who has pursued them maybe they have turned that person down because their conscious you know their, their their conscience and their conscience and their morality says I'm with somebody I can't cheat and they're stuck in a self-imposed prison even though they're not feeling it anymore they're guarded toward you and they want to be with a new lover somewhere else maybe they want to try to work it out with you and they and this is a second storyline they want to try to work it out with you and they have rejected this other person who has pursued them so there could be that coming in here um, as potential storylines page of wands eight of swords this could be them towards you. Maybe you have made advances toward this person and they've rejected you. Whether it's intimacy, whether it's sex, whether it's, you know, um, inviting them to do and try something new. Maybe this person is stuck in their own pit of misery and dysfunction and you're trying to kind of pull them out of it. There could be that. And they're stuck, again, in a self-imposed prison of being a miser and and stingy and negative and down and whatever maybe they're codependent on you maybe they need you to feel good about themselves what else is coming in here for this person that cancer is dealing with anything else anything else Can you please clarify their person one more time? No? <laughs> Can you pop a card, please, Spirit, for this person? Page of Wands, Eight of, so eight of Swords. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. Cancer's person is the Four of Pentacles, Judgment, Lovers, Seven of Swords, Reversed. Thank you. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. Oh my gosh. Wow. So either your person has received an advancement from someone else that they had to turn down and they're very sad about it. Um, maybe your person cheated on you you don't know it and they're regretting it. Maybe this is you with the Ace of Wands who have, you know, tried and tried and tried again to um, ignite this person's interest and desire for life. Again, whether, whether sexually, emotionally, intimacy, sharing things together, quality time, trying new things, getting them to be active, whatever it is. And they're constantly shooting you down, shooting you down, and you feel sad about it. Maybe, you know, again, you have tried time and time again to pull this person out of whatever that four, four of pentacles energy is. And they're just kind of negative Nelly and all of that. Um, maybe they're just sad and depressed. They're, maybe they're just a sad and depressed person and it has nothing to do with you. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave it there and let you guys kind of decide for yourself what makes sense. I'm going to pull from the Lenormand deck. Just whatever messages need to come out for Cancer, please. Cancer, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, and their person, about their person, with their person, or whatever's coming in for them in their life. 
Thank you. Ooh. Wow. This is the, there's two women in this deck. You've got the romantic woman and you've got the sexy, lusty, independent woman um, who is very intelligent and, um, um, you know, the romantic woman in this deck wants to be courted and she wants to be married and she wants to be the submissive wife to the man. This woman is a woman with a mind of her own. She makes her own decisions. Uh, she's very independent yet very attractive and um, there's a lot of sexual chemistry between two people with where this woman is concerned she can support herself but yet she also wants to be uh, you know taken care of so there's all of that this is you know a little bit more of a <clears throat> yin and yang masculine feminine energy whereas the fe the other female the romantic female in this deck is all feminine energy like damsel in distress come save me right this is coming out for you. So either you are currently in this energy and you are desiring something else, someone else, or multiple things beyond this connection, right? You could have long lost dreams. I mean, she's looking out the window. Long lost dreams of what could have been, what should have been. Even in your hobbies and interests, or you could be lusting after someone else. Um, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with who might be unhappy in this connection and maybe they're longing for other experiences in life all the way around. Um, or this could be a new person coming in that is catching your attention or somebody that you're keeping an eye on at a distance. Let's see what else comes out here. Can you please clarify this lusty lady for cancer? Lusty lady for cancer. Is this cancer? Or is this Cancer's person? Or is this someone that Cancer has their eye on? Ooh, child. All right. So either Cancer, you want a new beginning with the person that you're currently with. You want to ramp up the sexiness, the lust, the sex, the playfulness, the naughty side. Um, you want more intimacy, not just sex, but intimacy. You want something a little bit more juicy and enticing than what it's been. For some of you, you could be in a connection or a relationship with somebody where it's comfortable, but it's kind of boring and status quo. You know, it's missing this element, so there isn't, you want this new beginning, okay? Others of you, you want somebody else all together. And you want a new beginning with whoever this person is that you're highly attracted to. Um, could this mean children coming in here? Yes. So be careful if you want them or you don't, I don't know whether you're male or female. This could be a child, uh, you know, coming in here, but a lot of times it either means a child or it means a new beginning. And, um, for some of you, you could be interested in somebody younger than you as well, or your person is, or somebody new is coming in who is going to bring a new beginning and they're younger than you. So I don't know. Um, what else? Oh my God, look, <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up. Why can't I like, sometimes the way the cards come out, you know, in other scenarios, when you want this sort of thing to happen, you got to shuffle for days, weeks, or months to get these cards to fly out like this. This is like hitting the jackpot. I should go get a lottery ticket today. There you are. Lusty woman, lusty man. Some of you are secretly desiring somebody else. Mm-hmm. And they just turn you on every which way until Sunday, not just sexually, but maybe on a soul level. You know, because a child, it's not only a physical child, it's not only a new beginning, but this uh, child, because of the magic, this can indicate divine intervention, divine guidance, soulmate connection, magic, what's meant to be will be. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a, it's a force, you know, uh, that's beyond both of you. You're drawn to each other like moth to a flame. I mean, you just can't help it. Wow. Wow. Lots of sexiness coming in here. Some of you are going to be having amazing sex lives in the near future. I'll show you the ro this is the romantic female. Let's see if we can find the male. he's probably gonna be at, there he is back at the deck this is the romantic female and the romantic male sweet love courtship let's get married 
I'll be your wife and make everything nice. You be my Prince Charming, my knight in shining armor, my, you know, Mr. Big, right? So you get what I'm trying to say. So look, this is what's coming in. Now again, it depends on which cancer you are. Either this is you wanting to be with somebody else and having a new beginning and your interests and desire and um, attraction lies with somebody else outside of your relationship. This could be your person who has attraction for somebody else outside the relationship. Or this could be cancer and their person wanting to have a new beginning together, really wanting to ramp up the sexiness and all of that. Um, or the third scenario is somebody new is coming in to your life or to your person's life and you don't even know it yet. All right. Anything else coming in here for cancer? Let me just move this to make sure it's not getting warm by the um, candle. The park. So this is coming out into the open. That's what the park is. Being seen, being heard, coming out into the open, invitations, getting together in the park, in the public eye. Oh, something else flipped over. What? Oh, yes. Dating with the birds. The birds is dating, courtship. It's lots of communication. Chirp, 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 chirp. Lots of communication between the two of you in every which way, both verbally and electronically. Um, this can be an invitation to go out, an invitation to get together. Maybe some of you are, are having an affair. I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe your person is having an affair. Maybe some of you got an invitation from someone else that floats your boat to get together and you had to shut them down because you're currently involved in a relationship or vice versa. Your person did that. Or this is somebody new coming into your life that's really going to ring your bell and you guys are just going to get together together. You're going to talk, you're going to date, you're going to flirt, you're going to get together for coffee, you're going to go for walks in the park. I mean, it's going to be this dreamy, magical connection. You see all that magic coming out of that book and the imagination and the fairy tale. And this is just like dripping with a lot of sex and sexual energy and sexual chemistry. And um, wow, this is, man, I wish. <laughs> Cancer. I wish. I'm not a cancer, so I don't even think I have any cancer in my chart. Home. So home is coming in here. You could be building a new relationship. Bottom of the deck is the um, clover, lucky clover. This could be a lucky new divine connection for some of you. Building a relationship in a home, outside of the home, outside of your current home. Uh, moving to a new home because you have the birds. The birds travel. They fly. Moving to a new home. I don't know. All right, let's 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 do the German Lenormand deck here. What else is coming in here for Cancer? Oh, those are really delicious cards, I have to say. I haven't pulled cards like that for any other sign, so something's going on here. Um, what else is coming in here for Cancer from this deck? Thank you. Ooh despair. Somebody is not happy here, whether it's you, whether it's the person that you're dealing with, whether there's a lot of guilt here, whether there's attraction outside of this connection, you're feeling guilty for it, or they are, or just despair because, you know, this, this relationship just isn't doing it for you. I mean, I just don't know, but somebody here is in despair for some reason. Maybe, um, here, let me move this down. Maybe, um, somebody messed up or you know there's so many different reasons to be in despair somebody could be you know very much regretting or sad or lonely or they they feel stuck in a situation so many different reasons for despair um wow Oof, cancer what's going on you guys have to write me and let me know all right what else is coming in here for cancer Maybe somebody's scared to get out of this relationship because they don't want to leave the other person in despair. Somebody's being a false person here. Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's not telling the truth, speaking the truth. Um, you know, speaking up about what their needs and desires are, what they want or don't want. Main male. For some of you, it's the man in this relationship that's being a false person as in, and is in despair. 
You know, this could be a man in this relationship who is unhappy in this relationship for various reasons. He's not fulfilled and satisfied, and he is in despair quietly. He's hiding it behind a mask. Others of you, you could be a female who's in despair over your person that you're with. You're hiding it from them because you really want out of this relationship. So it just depends. Or somebody is in despair and wearing a mask for some other reason. I don't know. Whoa. Ooh, thief. This can mean so many things. Somebody stole the dream, stole the opportunity. Somebody, um, you know, cheated. And so the other person feels like the, you know, the third party came in and stole their partner. Um, a thief in other ways, financially, emotionally, somebody using and abusing the other person, somebody getting used, um, Somebody, a thief could be you, Cancer, who feels like you missed out on an opportunity of happily ever after because you're stuck in a situation with somebody you don't want to be with. So you feel like somebody's stealing your happiness and your joy or vice versa. Maybe it's the person you're dealing with. Man, I don't know. You got such positive, delicious cards up here. And under here is like, this is like what's hidden in the shadows. So what's going on here? Anything else for Cancer before I call it a day? This video is getting too long. This one wants to come out. Concern. Yep. Somebody's very concerned about this situation or the action they have to take or the decision they have to make. Lovers. Somebody is concerned about lovers. Somebody could be concerned. Maybe somebody's having an affair here for some of you. And they're very concerned that they're going to get found out. Or they're very concerned about telling their person or their spouse that they've met someone else and they want a divorce. Um, or they're concerned that they might lose their lover if they don't leave their person or their spouse. There could be so many different reasons for this concerned card. Maybe somebody in this connection is concerned that their partner's cheating on them and they found another lover. All right? I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I have thousands of people who watch my channel, so just please remember that. Um, Thank you so much for joining me. Write me and let me know uh, what you thought of this, how it resonated, um, and what happens for you. And we'll see you back here for the mid-month updates in April. Bye.